sense. Oh, really? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> the press conference. Oh, okay. It doesn't make sense. Well, then. Now, now it's <laughs> dramatically out of context with the rest of the movie where the guy running around Italy in a fucking gimp suit <laughs> is just somehow miraculously getting multicolored smoke <laughs> and stealing cars and fucking inflating balloons to lift a 20-ton gold bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. The press conference live doesn't make sense. It's just, what do, you, what do you expect when you give a script to an Italian? Have you driven on an Italian road? Why would you, why would you give them words? It's just, it's just going to be fucking nonsense. Their entire approach to everything is just spaghetti. That's it. That's it. What do you want to eat? Spaghetti. What do you want to say? Spaghetti. What movie do you want to make? Spaghetti. It doesn't make any sense. This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Ooh. Oh, Reggie says hi, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like coitus interruptus, but for introductions. Y yeah, sure. Introductus interruptus. All right, now that I have you in the cringe phase, welcome I back hate to this <laughs> podcast so much. <laughs> oh, Re oh, Reggie and Jack, my favorite co-hosts. And yes, this is episode 81. You probably 81 episodes already. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. It's been ex nearly exactly a year where you recorded the 40th episode, so yeah. I, I didn't really stick to my one episode per week schedule, but close enough. I had some off weeks. Yeah. And you and luckily and the world kept spinning. Yeah, and the world kept spinning and kept s spinning while watching the, the 40th episode. You haven't with done you. the introduction yet. No uh, one knows what this is. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we're 81 episodes in. I think people have figured out what this is. Hi, they're not Josephine. Gonna, they're, they're <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hi, but, possibly Monica. Yeah, yeah. Oh, probably Monica. Not gonna do the pun. Um, <laughs> no, uh, no, do the pun. No, no, do no. the pun. <laughs> I won't get physically angry because I drew it. I drew it out of you. What is it? <laughs> Problonica, but e exactly. Yeah. No, no. Explain to me how that's a pun. No, it's a more play on words because it's probably Monica and Problonica. Problon. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I said it was bad. Yeah, it was how about, really bad. How about we start the recording now and oh. I do a proper introduction because it has been dog shit so far. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right. Welcome You're a back. fucking idiot. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Problonica. <laughs> You know that uh, for continuity's sake, I have to keep it in now. Yes, I know. That's exactly why I did it. Episode 81, 81st episode. The 81st episode recorded and on I'm the... And I'm 81st day. That's Paul level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice Getting one. Getting into the, the vibe of the podcast. Mm -hmm. On the 7th, August 2018. And we watched Danger Diabolic. And he's back. He hasn't introduced himself, but no. kept interrupting well, stuff. Well, it's, it's your job to introduce the host. I've been s the guest, yes, even. Check and off. I've been sat here patiently waiting for you to do it. Patiently. And then you've patiently. been problemonicking <laughs> your fucking way around here. So, who are you <laughs> for, for the people? My who are name is Jack. Yes. Hi, Jack. Josephine knows who I am. Is <laughs> Yeah, and we watched Danger Diabolic, a 1968 yeah. comic book adaptation starring a bunch of random Italians yeah. and one Austrian lady from Graz. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's the Austrian connection for the movie. Yeah, yeah. And damn, she's a lot in this movie. Like, she was? What, like, she was the main character. She's, yeah, first of all that. And second of all, already very progressive for 1968 Italian cinema. Well, I mean, all, you say that, but all she did was like follow Diabolic around and look at him with like... No, lust. she helped with all the heists. Yeah. All the heists, she was an integral part yeah. of the heist. Staking out a thing, being the woman and... Actually, actually exploiting the the sexism of the Italian 
police force. It was not that deep. <laughs> Don't try and look into it for some sort of context that just wasn't there in that that's, context. That's my whole thing, man. <laughs> it's overanalyzing mi- a thing. That movie might be the best comic book adaptation ever in that it was just like a comic book. It, it was, was like ex- one yes. panel after another. And yeah, yeah, that's sense. true. That's true. It, it really had the feel of this is basically Sin City, Italian version, 40 years before Sin City. It's like if uh, Johnny English lived in Sin City, but right? Was <laughs> That's not bad <laughs> because that man was gorgeous, just like Johnny English. He was a handsome fellow. I, yeah, I yeah. Kinda, that that. Dear Paul, I, I'm not necessarily pro breeding, but that guy and that girl, they should have kids. That, yes, yes. Some smart, good-looking kids would come out of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they're both very smart, but Diabolic is one of the most handsome villains I have seen in a long time. Because he is not an anti-hero. He is a villain. He's a real cunt. <laughs> he really is. Next to Eva Kant, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's the real cunt. Yeah. He's a real piece of shit. <laughs> like, you he keep could. waiting for it to be... Like, so basically, he just steals from the police force all the time because he can. Doesn't seem to need the money. He's just like, yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, he has like a banging layer. Yeah. Like and it's it a layer as well. It's not just like a really nice house. It's no, like it's it's if 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 Batman went balls to the wall with a with a layer, like yeah. Lego Batman level of layer we're talking about here. Uh, it's amazing. I don't think we need plot or anything because it is a comic book movie, so it follows very much the comic book rules of of a storytelling, yeah. which is just very short, like twenty five to thirty two side uh, page booklets basically yeah. stitched together into like kind of an overarching plot there, there wasn't an overarching plot it, it felt like the first hour was like okay here's no the did, overarching I, plot is that the police force try one stupid trap under quotation marks here trap after another to lure him in why didn't they stick with the 10 millions why did it have to be more and more expensive things he could steal he was already attracted to the 10 million they could have just kept with the 10 million right yeah oh but then once you've got 10 million you don't need 10 million but 20 millions double and triple then by he's the time doubled. you get it so. oh yeah 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 but still though it is <laughs> It makes no sense that the police force keep a- upping the ante and not introducing like a smarter way to capture him. Yeah, like it was always the same stupid thing. They basically by accident got him at the end, more or less, because the yeah, that was the, yeah the goal. Well, we, we, yes, we haven't really yes. explained anything. So yes, okay, yeah, okay. So it is based on, as far as I can tell, an Italian comic book. If a James Bond villain and James Bond were the same guy, but also he had the gear of Batman, basically, yeah. and the money <laughs> of Batman, were one person, basically. And he, yeah, a- any James Bond villain, he just keeps stealing more and more ridiculous things from the police force. That's basically the whole plot. Also, the, the other villains don't like him. No. That's it. Because he... Well, because he's also stealing from... No, does he steal from other villains? No. I guess he would. Yeah, yeah. probably if there was like, hey, there's a layer with 20 million in cash laying around, he would probably steal from them too. Like, there's probably bad blood between yeah. him and the, the police force and the, the other crime syndicates. Also, those crime syndicates were like the Sopranos, but like as a, like a proto version of it. Like, they're still in Italy, but they all have the smart suits. Well, and the, yeah, and that's the, just an Italian mobster. But it's so cliche, though. Like, they all look like they were out of a, like, like 1940s. Why didn't yeah, they dress they smarter? Because were. the girl... The girl it w- this wasn't based in 2015. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They were dressed exactly like you would expect a mobster to dress at that in, period in, in time. In 1968? Yeah. I think there would be it's more fish It's a cliche because of movies like that. <laughs> you think so? It, yeah. Uh, all right. it, it was cliche now. It's current then. So you're saying those were some really smart dresses? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I won't, I won't deny that. <laughs> yeah? You, you would dress like that if you had the budget? If I had the budget and the crime syndicate? Yeah, I would definitely dress like that. <laughs> Fortunately, I have neither. <laughs> Why well, is it fortunate not to have a crime syndicate? Well, the, 
he had a fucking swimming pool with a tray full of yeah. olives on it. Like, I don't have a swimming pool with a tray full of olives. Yeah, that would be awesome. Randomly loads of beautiful women just lying about the well, place. Well, there was one main lady, which... Did she die at the end? No. She wasn't on the plane that he exploded? No, no, no. Okay. No. All right. Yeah. Oh, also, they exploded the plane, by the way. Yeah, they exploded. Spoiler. The, 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 <laughs> spoiler to a <laughs> 1968 movie. It, it's been exactly 50 years, Jack. <laughs> No, but the great thing about this movie is... again, great thing is a stretch of the language. They, honestly, they... It was entertaining. It was very entertaining. There's nothing great about it. Really, because I think for 1968, they really ran with the whole... What, what was cool, that, like now, with m turning a comic book movie into, like again, like Sin City, turning it into exactly what the comic book was. And I have the feeling, at least, that this feels like exactly like the comic book was. And that made it really, really interesting to me because that's 50, 40 years before like Marvel and DC had their breakouts, breakout hits. Because as far as... I yeah. mean, the only thing before that was what? Uh, what's his name? Batman. Well, yes, Batman, Superman, and then Blade. That those were the three before they like broke out, broke out. Blade. Like, like, yeah, Blade was like Marvel. Is a Marvel comic book. Yeah, but wasn't that made in the nineties? Yeah, yeah. Before. Oh, you're bef talking about right? Okay, before okay. They, they were like huge yeah, successes. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, those were the three big ones before. I guess Spider Man too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So four. I guess, but it, it, it wasn't like a running theme and this felt like, oh, they could have easily made at least a second, a third, a fourth and like spun out a whole thing out of this one because it felt so genuinely the article. Yep. Because that was missing with a lot of comic book sure, adaptations but it's also up like to you, that point. You, you adapt it to the new platform that it's being presented on. Like that that yes. movie was entertaining, but it was a bad movie. <laughs> it was. A, you think it, so? It I, was a, I think it had some artistic merit. It like I'm not. I'm not saying it was like unentertaining. I'm not saying it was not enjoyable to watch. I did enjoy it for all. I'm about to shit on it, but it was. <laughs> it was just a comic book on a TV screen. Okay. It was kind of like it's. It's not a movie. No. Well, because you know, we both at the hour mark were like, "Oh, cool, this is done," and then, "Oh no, another oh, yeah. thirty minutes." Because <laughs> yes, why because wouldn't you think that? Because everything had just come honestly, together and wrapped yes, up it's so beautiful. Honestly, yes, it felt like four HBO specials that they stitched together into one movie. Yeah, because it was four different heists. I think uh, the first one was the ten million dollars, then the then the emeralds, and then the ingots. Yes, yeah, so there three. wasn't in anything in the three in between. No, no, so those three things. Okay, so three HBO specials, four if you split the last one, the gold ingot one, into two parts, because that's some heavy subject right there. Good logic. It, it Sorry, heavy object. Sorry, yeah. That was a pun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> because it was gold, submersed. And it weighs 20 tons. And yeah. Like, oh, oh, uh, uh, because, yeah, uh, it's a uh, heavy <laughs> object. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Ah. Uh, it is currently 36 degrees in this apartment it's when we're fucking boiling. And we're both dying, literally. I also have stitches on my back that shouldn't get wet, but I'm sweating you have like a hot. Stitches on your back? Yeah, my, my skin doctor had to remove them all. Oh, okay. On a totally interesting side note. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> had you in stitches right there. No, all right. no, you did not. <laughs> I know you ever have. Not once have you ever, not once will you ever, all right? <laughs> Fuck you. That was like, first off, you're the one in stitches, all right? So now I have you in stitches, because look at you piss your pants like that. All right, that was a fucking stupid thing to say. <laughs> and don't think that the heat's making me cranky, all right? It was <laughs> you were pre-cranked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had you in stitches. <laughs> Flawless Paul Jacobs uh, impersonation. <laughs> um, you can real, truly work as my double. Yeah, but those free heists were what everything rotated around. Yeah, but I, like, okay, so the first one, I get it. You have to like introduce just how smart this guy is. Yes. And how ridiculous his methods are. And, and how, how the stupid the police so, yeah, so yeah. that's like the little beginning thing. I get that. And you have to see what he's about. And then his girlfriend's like... Also, it's a cold open. Yeah. It just starts. It yeah. doesn't have title screen after the first house, which is brilliant, I think. It's, it's one of the things that draws you into a movie immediately instead of like... Yeah, the it title it definitely gave it a little bit more of... Um, Panache? Hey, we know. 
Ah, uh, okay, okay. I don't take this seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are already no, no. some ridiculous yeah. things like gassing the police force <laughs> in their cars <laughs> with very multicolored smoke and then wrapping. Well, yeah, 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 okay, so sorry. Yes, yes yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. No, no, you, you start. Yeah, they, they. Oh, yeah, so basically they're transferring $10 million for a reason. Yeah, in. We never know why. Mac Money Sack. Yeah, with, Money like, with literal like dollars, which I very much <laughs> doubt was the currency Italy was using in 1968 either. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense why they have them in dollars. As I thought they just traded on old women's recipes. I had no <laughs> idea that they actually had a currency. It was just buffalo mozzarella. Yeah. <laughs> it just wheels of parmesan cheese. Just fucking sacks of tomatoes. <laughs> basil, just dried basil. And mm. now we have all the ingredients for most of Italian dishes. Exactly. No, okay. Yes. So, yeah, uh, they're just moving $10 million for a reason, and he's steals that by like the, the so the car with all the money drives into so, a dock for first of all it, the, 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 no the, it's it's the the blind because the real car the the real money car with the fake money in it was what they thought diabolic would follow not the yeah. fake car with the, the yeah but that's yeah. not really essential to the plot like yeah true because diabolic uh, figures it out like immediately but just following in them yeah so yeah yeah thank you for derailing that sorry 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 what are you reggie <laughs> <laughs> Look, if i'm gonna go on this podcast guys i'm gonna make it fun for me um, paul wants some fun too <laughs> it's episode 81 <laughs> i aren't this right to have fun once you made 81 episodes i know i know i totally don't hate myself for doing that many <laughs> <laughs> yeah you should you really should you should feel bad you should you should lie awake at night just staring at the ceiling going, why? And I keep doing it yeah. every time. Yeah, and I keep <laughs> inviting back Jack yeah. for some reason. I've never made myself a welcome guest. <laughs> um, yeah, so yes. ba- he steals money by just like tr- tricking cops to get out of a car by gassing them. And then he just puts the car in like a bear net or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, like, like a huge net. Yeah, yeah, and then just hoists it up. Classic, yeah, classic and- ruse. And then he retrieves the money and jumps into the ocean where his boat is waiting and yeah. he drives off into the sunset, basically. Then he switches immediately into his car and goes into his secret lair. Again, we said already how dope his lair is, but this lair is amazing. That's yeah, pretty cool. It has, what, 20, 30 cars of the same make and model in, his, in black and white. Uh, oh, we totally forgot how to describe him because he looks very particular, diabolic. Like his gangster outfit, not his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we God, already the ga- said that. The, the yeah. gimp suit. Yeah. yeah, his gimp suit because that's all really skin tight, like latex. Like going over the mouth as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the lips. Yeah. Like to his commitment to only showing his really really blue eyes like you have basically the same shade of blue as he does yeah. it's amazing he's got incredible eyebrows as well oh yeah yeah um, <laughs> that first reveal of it where it just like it does that very <laughs> 60s thing of just zooming in uh-huh, or zooming yes. out of stuff all the time yeah, for yeah, no yeah. fucking reason <laughs> and it just like zoom in and you just see his like angry eyebrows yeah it's, wow okay that, yeah that's a face yeah i would fuck him just with with those I, facial features i wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> you would only tap the whole diabolic, not not just I wouldn't part of tap the, any of No? No. No? It, it, isn't that like one one of those things where somebody just transcends hotness no. by He's a good looking man, but Do you have that? Like do you have some guy that where you're like, Oh, he's so hot like if no. he offered I would say yes? No. Oh, you're super straight. In that I, I wouldn't say super straight, but straight, yeah. <laughs> I don't have elite straightism, but <laughs> you didn't uh, up the to platinum yet. No, the platinum I straight. I don't have a diamond card for heterosexuality, <laughs> but I just don't feel like sucking dudes' dicks. That's oh my god! That's your own like. That's the only get a uh, t- uh, take away from like getting with a dude is. I have to suck his dick. Well, that would be a large could, part of it. He could suck your dick. Yeah, but that's rude not to reciprocate. <laughs> yeah, you could jerk him off. Who the fuck wants that? Gay dudes. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I have no. literally first-hand experience with that. <laughs> <laughs> literally first-hand. You know? 
I had to choose my insult as well because I had to like, what's he not gonna be able to make a pun out of? <laughs> yeah, you mustard no, not, that I, one. I I mustard. Not mustard. Okay. Yeah, it's close enough. No, it's. What do you think you just did? <laughs> What is it you think you just did right now? Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's not a, that's not a pun. No, it's not. It's you just said a word that doesn't rhyme with bastards, mustard? and then like just mouthed it mustard, weird until it did. Bastard. No, 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 no. Just what I don't know. I don't know why it's. What's just, wrong with you? I think I'm melting right now. <laughs> I'm literally melting. Oh god. My insides are on fire. My point is, yes. it's rude to have your dick sucked and not offer to suck a dick in return. Fair enough. I, I, my Fair enough. parents raised no, me No, I reciprocated most of the time, but some dudes prefer the hand job. I just don't get that. I don't, I don't, you would, I don't get, you I would don't always get take jobs. a blow job over a hand job. Oh, you, in general. You wouldn't. Somebody with foreskin, I guess. I have foreskin. Oh, okay. For some reason, I, I lobbed you in with Reggie. I guess Americans. Yeah. That they because they no, all we're, get we're very big on not cutting parts of the dick off. Except for your Jewish part of the population, well, I guess. We, yeah. But. Yeah. And those with phimosis. But, but <laughs> neither, yeah. neither of which are me, so Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, fine. You thought I was circumcised. That's that's yeah. what that is. Yeah, and a a, a, a blowjob definitely beats uh why would a hand circumcision job? make a difference? Because in the decision process, if you want a blowjob or a hand job, a blowjob is way more comfortable than a handjob with, with circumcised dick. Because with circumcised dick, you either need a lot of spit or lube to crank it out. Because there's no... It's all friction. You really don't. Wait, do you mean you need more lube to give a handjob? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Well, again... Except if you don't... I mean, again, if you have no, drive I've, ne I've never had a lubed handjob. No? No. Oh, I've dude. Had, I've oh. had many, but I've never had a lubed one. Oil or... Uh, I'm sure it's great, but uh -huh. it's just also like... This isn't something I want to make an occasion. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're giving someone a hand job, like, or in the case of I've received hand jobs, it's it's sort of them going, I understand you need an orgasm. Yeah. And it's sort of in my realm of responsibility. I don't want to do anything about it, but I'm obligated to. Okay, yeah, this so is I, minimum effort yeah, for so you. Yeah, it's minimal effort for me, yeah. and I'm in, in turn just like, yeah, thank you, we'll get this over with fast. So I've never had them, like, lube up and light candles and shit like okay, that. Okay, yeah. So, I, yeah, I, you don't, no, I, you don't need, it's you an don't experience. need lube. It is an experience. I imagine it's more pleasant. But, yeah, it is. It yeah, is but very I mean, much like, is. I don't see how the foreskin makes any difference in that. Because if you have a foreskin, you pull the foreskin forth and back, when you jerk off while when oh, you don't do you have a foreskin yeah maybe i maybe i don't then <laughs> <laughs> all right pull out your dick I'm let me check out. <laughs> for your benefit not mine like I let me check i, that I didn't check get out. to shower this morning i've sat on a hot bus for six hours i'm not <laughs> that's some that's some <laughs> gruesome dick yeah. that you would pull out okay fair enough Hi, Mom. It really seals in the flavor. <laughs> That's a Batman reference, and in turn, it is a diabolic reference because it's. When did Batman to, ever like it's, suck a six-day-old dick? Did no, it? he didn't. Oh, oh actually, the, the actually, 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 there's quite a lot of Batman gay porn out there. I'm sure there is. Yeah, I can fully believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batting 100 Man, for example. No, I'm not sure if that is a real one, but if not, I'm gonna make one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not having anything to do with that. So diabolic. After yeah. stealing the 10 million, we get the title sequence, and then we turn into the second plan that the police force has, which is two-pronged. Honestly, better than their last plan, which by accident worked out. But the first one was, well, the second plan was, oh, we have this British dude over, this British ambassador and his wife with that huge emerald necklace, oh, which yeah. I believe has been stolen from an ethnic tribe. Yeah, more than Co oh, com no. <laughs> coming from a British Not lady. Not necessarily stolen, oh, they, but dude. The chances are so like, high. They're just like, <laughs> uh, you don't, you don't need these gems. They're not worth anything. We'll take them for you. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll exactly. Oh, it's, it's one of those. You're gonna step on those. It'll cut you. It's unpleasant. Yeah, here's yeah. a gun yeah. in exchange for all of that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, she we didn't give him weapons. <laughs> You actually did to oh, fight the French, for yeah, example. No wonder we lost the colonies if we <laughs> armed them. That's the fucking. So yeah. next time, put me in charge of that shit. I'll have, <laughs> I'll have India under <laughs> such a uh, like. I'll with, have, with I'll have it so tightly in my grip, I'll turn India into a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> A real jewel, yeah. Boo! <laughs> Boo! 
If I had credit, I'd get Reggie on the phone so he can boo you too. <laughs> you can call him from no. my phone. Um, all right, so <laughs> they have a diamond boo! heist. <laughs> Uh, this makes for some great podcasting. Yeah. They have a second heist where they, yeah, which was the best one, at least from the pol- from the police side of things, because they, oh fuck you, man, <laughs> because they, I don't know, okay. what? Hi, my name's Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome <laughs> to eighty <laughs> first episode. Oh yeah, it seems F- like like you. you podcast. <laughs> my name is Paul, and this is the seventh Diamond of August, two thousand and eighteen. We're both dying here, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're literally killing ourselves. Doing it. Well, it's fine. I'll ruin it. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay, so the second one was the most sophisticated from the police force because they involved the crime syndicate as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they because, play dirty. Because after the first heist, the police got special powers to kill people, basically. Yeah. <laughs> which is oh, we're, insanity. We're, we're overlooking one of the best scenes as well. So after he initially steals the diamond, no, yeah, the, yes. no, the 10 million. Yeah, the 10 million. After mil. he initially steals the 10 million, they had the something minister yeah, has one a of press the ministers, conference. Yes. And oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, please, please go so ahead. They, so uh, to further be a prick, Diabolic sneaks into the pref- press conference dressed as a photographer and he has some photo that <laughs> just, just a, a prank bro. A, photogra- a photograph, a camera. Yes. <laughs> He has a camera. <laughs> the heat is really getting that, to us. No, it's just the, the fucking idiocy is getting to me. That's a, I can't blame that on heat. That's the fucking... How is it getting to you if it's already been there the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes. So, yeah, he has this camera that just admits laughing, guys. So, he's there running around, like, bending down, getting really low on the floor, taking these pictures so the laughing gas comes out, which is, like, bright green, and no one in the room <laughs> notices it. Everyone's just breathing it in, and, yeah. like, this green smoke is going past their eyes, and there's no recognition of it yeah. whatsoever. And uh, it's called exhilarating gas. Yeah. And it's in English lettering, so he got it probably from an um, English, English merchant, and also... A merchant. <laughs> Merchant of of gas and yeah, well you make it, you make it sound like it's like a hundred years prior, <laughs> where they're like, like they going around trading <laughs> spices and shit. A we merchant. Hear, we hear from the East India Company. Yeah, they have the finest gases and vapors, <laughs> all from the Ivory Coast and other foreign lands. No, and also. They take anti-accelerating yeah. gas <laughs> capsules, which was the best thing ever because it was fully written out in the in the capsule case. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, they gas them, and then the, it's just a prank, bro. He takes a picture, and also the, the it was a live feed apparently. Oh, why I is mean, it live? It's, it's just being broadcast on TV. Yeah, but why does it have to be live? Why not? That's, they that's not an uncommon it. thing to happen. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. The press conference. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Well then, now, now it's <laughs> dramatically out of context with the rest of the movie where the guy running around Italy in a fucking gimp suit <laughs> is just somehow miraculously getting multicolored smoke <laughs> and stealing cars and fucking inflating balloons to lift a 20-ton gold bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. The press conference live doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's just what do, you, what do you expect when you give a script to an Italian? Have you driven <laughs> in an Italian road? Why would you, why would you give them words? It's just, it's just gonna be fucking nonsense. Their entire approach to everything is just spaghetti. That's it. That's it. What do you want to eat? Spaghetti. What do you want to say? Spaghetti. What movie do you want to make? Spaghetti. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was no spaghetti in this movie. There was not a bit of spaghetti. No. That's interesting. Yeah. No, yeah. It's not. <laughs> I also heard no one say Mamma Mia. It wasn't. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's true. Okay, so, yeah, that one uh, kind of fails because, well, Diabolic is just too good. Because the, the villain, the main crime syndicate boss, captures the, the Eva Kant. Sorry, we haven't talked about her that much no. yet. Eva Kant is amazing. She's the Austrian actress. Yeah. That her character's name is Eva Kant. And I feel like very often on this podcast, you don't talk about what the Austrian connection is. That's true. That's true. But I, in I, this I was case, thinking that today. I was like, that's a weird thing. That's not even one of the 
Austrian connection. <laughs> parts. It's just like, like the Italian connection. Yeah, it's just kind of like, why, why? I'm going to cut this p- part out for sure. <laughs> so, fuck you. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep bringing it back up now so you guys, so contextually you can. <laughs> oh, 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 new, new yeah, avenue the, of hatred, new yeah. avenue of hatred. That's it's like the Hulk, but I'm just heat sensitive. It's like the, the hottest gets you the wouldn't like I get. me when I'm angry. I don't like you now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I like you when you're angry. <laughs> it's much my jam, anyways. Speaking of a jam. That's what uh, Diabolic... That's what the character in Get Out found himself in. <laughs> Quite the jam, is it not? Yeah, a, a, a death jam of sorts. I haven't seen it, so don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that people die. You have a horrible ruined. pun. It was, Yeah. <laughs> just before we go into it, I was like, I know I do actually want to watch that movie yeah, at some point. Yeah, do, do it, do to it. To connect to my Austrian heritage. <laughs> uh, apparently, hot... Uh, hot Jack is more 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 of an asshole than regular Reggie. Oh, I've had a bad day. Trust me, and, I guess <laughs> and me. a bad yesterday. How was the set yesterday? Wow. Garbage. Yeah, was and the second bad? set was garbage. Oh, you had two sets. Yeah, oh. they were both bad. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's my own fault for dreaming. <laughs> yeah, dreaming of bringing laughter to the Eastern Bloc. Yeah, it's it's As a hard thing. As an Austrian, thing. you will shut the fuck up. All right, <laughs> Eastern Europe is so Dude, much. Dude, we only br- we didn't better. bring laughter. There. We were only broad exploitation there. No, but you, you're making it out like there's no humor to be found in the Easter block. Right? Oh, there's so much humor. Yeah, no, that's true. Hungary, Slovakia, any sort of Eastern European country, awesome to do shows in normally. You come to Vienna and then you just want to kill yourself. So as an Austrian, you say nothing. I mean, that killing yourself is like one of our favorite pastimes as Austrians. Is so, it? Yeah, we cool, ours, we cool ourselves really, really. Like, that's one of the things that changed, like, in the last two years. The Is ca- that like the an Alexander the Conqueror thing where he saw that there was no more land to conquer and he just wept? <laughs> it's kind of like, <laughs> li- living in Austria is so slid. perfect. It's yeah. just like, well, I, there's nothing for me to be miserable over, so I'm going to off myself. Yeah. I mean, there's, like, I think on average, I think one person every three or four days offs himself on one of the uh, 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 the subway train. Yeah, the subway that can't be true. Yeah, that, that, that can't be because true. Because there's a moratorium between the, the, the newspapers and the public transit system to not broadcast that information. Yeah, but it did. I feel like uh, the amount of time I've lived in Vienna and also the amount of time I spent in Vienna when I wasn't living here. It's, that, it's, unless it's about they, 100 deaths, I think. Unless or maybe, they, maybe they include trains too. Unless they clear the body up in like 10 minutes. Yeah, they do. They're really efficient about it. It's... One of the things is that, that that's why you I'm have, really not sure if I believe you. It, it, it's a lot of people. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. like one of the things that like road accident deaths are now lower than our suicide rate, which never happened before. It's the first time in this republic. Like since we take that data, it's the first time that happened. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And it's only because both of them went down. Like we had 3000 car related deaths in the 70s and now we're at I think 600 per year. How is this information you retain? I don't know, man. Why it's do you need just, to know? Why did you look it the, up? Dude, it's just sucking There is the, so much information you I, should rather have in your head. I know. I know, man. I, I should have already a master's degree, but apparently uh, re- uh, car death related statistics of Austria are more important in my head. I don't know why. It's just there. Don't don't <laughs> don't don't pull on that cord, man, because no, no, you don't want to unravel this, Paul. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if I did, I would just have to get out. And then... <laughs> All right, nice, nice. Yeah, slipped it in from there. that time that you spoke about get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you want now, to call yeah. it back, so I have to keep the whole thing in yeah. there. Cool. Thanks, man. Um, How do you feel so, about that episode, Paul? Huh? In, wait, the, the get, get out, out episode. <laughs> I feel like I'm in purgatory right now. You might and I be. just re- reliving my past mistakes over and over again. <laughs> and you are literally the devil <laughs> sitting next to me being like, Yes, Paul, how does it feel? Come on, <laughs> relive all the biggest mistakes. Hey, also, that, that time one you time wrote, you I, pissed your pants. In- I, I wasn't going to say that. We all piss our pants. But one thing we do not all do is write, I love Trump on my arms. <laughs> and then go on stage and get booed I, off at Wombats. I'm, I'm, I'm defending that joke. That 
that joke was brilliant. Was and it I, a joke or did you just walk on stage with I love Trump? No, I didn't. Biceps. I didn't. I, I revealed it during the act. It was one of the last things. It was part of the whole experience. <laughs> like first the hat and everything and then the, the guns. The guns came out at the end. Wait, did you have a Make America Great Again hat on? Yeah. Oh, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I actually had a Make a Great Again sticker bolted to a normal hat. So I have a make a great again, make make a great again again. A maga. A gagger dagger to be good about. I said uh, before I'm melting, but this is bad. Yeah. I don't know if the, how sweaty I am, but I'm. I'm well, you're part sweaty. Italian, so you look greasy normally. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to tell a difference, honestly. Oh, I haven't heard that insult in such a long time, dude. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I, I forgot about the greasy Italian completely. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Thank you. No problem. Um, it's the stereotype hour with Jack and Paul. <laughs> so, uh, how's your spotted dick doing, man? Um, Get out. <laughs> how I felt about that episode? Horribly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, the last heist was a 10 tone 10 tone ingot 10 ton ingot solid gold encased in another 10 tons of steel apparently and that's how the police force entices diabolic again to try to we didn't even say how he escaped the second heist because he catapulted himself off of oh, which yeah, was, was so funny was no he didn't himself he only yeah, he, catapulted his costume he, off he took his gimp suit off Somehow loaded that on a catapult so as <laughs> so it would fire just as the police came round the corner where he was completely nowhere near the catapult to operate it. Which and it's like it's not some sort of fancy nineteen sixty eight catapult. <laughs> it's like a wooden a medieval, made of wicker. Uh, yeah, a medi- we use this to throw women into walls because we suspect they're witches. <laughs> kind of catapult. Yes. So like you would have to be on it to fire it, but no, his fucking gimp suit goes and they're like, Oh, look at that loose flapping gimp suit go get him no the, then, also the, one of the police officers is like i probably hit him like he shot at it and he said i probably oh, really? hit him yeah which is in retrospect so much more hilarious because yeah. if you just shoot a leather costume it's gonna bend and twirl you're gonna know that nobody is in there <laughs> oh, it, oh it, it was a, a dope escape because it also was literally mission impossible three and four had inspiration drawn from this yeah. movie because diabolic scales the wall like in the abu dhabi scene from mission impossible 4 where he has those magic gloves that make him stick to the wall also he switches his costume for the first time which diabolic. is very clever he switches to a white gimp suit yeah as so he can clean uh climb up the white building without yeah. being detected Smart. but then it has two really very obvious blue things yeah there, so like why also, did you even bother? honestly this was probably supposed to be a night scene, so it should actually be complete dark, but they shot it at day and then just used the filter. Uh-huh. On it. That's how most night scenes were shot back then, and that's why it looked so bright. Honestly, it should have been, like, truly dark. Right, okay. But, yeah, also we see here in that in that heist, the first time that Diabolic just kills police officers. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. So he's not only no does he beat them to death, he, like, throws knives Which at them. Which is, like, it's, it wasn't even for some redistribution of wealth type deal. It was just his fucking yeah. bitch of a girlfriend is just like, oh, yeah, Miss Modern Feminist is <laughs> that fucking just like, I want emeralds. Yeah, I want those. I money. want pretty jewelry. Yeah. Now get it for me get the necklace so yeah. he fucking it'll just kill a working class man trying to fucking provide enough for his family, hey, for dude, his family. that family is gonna get provided for for the rest of the life because they get like you know benefits so really he is redistributing it well by destroying the the patri- male patriarchy <laughs> What what you did there is there 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 was a target and you took your bow and arrow and you just got it straight in the bullseye of the target. <laughs> yeah. You were like you're just dramatically on target. Like you're so on point yes. with what I was saying. Mm-hmm. And I I don't know where that tangent was gonna go, but it definitely was not gonna go anywhere as fucking hilarious <laughs> and un Austrian as well, no, because uh, you know, they would have had life insurance on the <laughs> cops and his family, you know, they would have been okay. Nailed it. Also, <laughs> also, the rest of the police force is probably getting paid overtime because, you know, standing outside of yeah, the castle. Double down, double down, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's my whole thing, man. <laughs> 
Do you want me to pull out an Excel spreadsheet and explain you the <laughs> cost be- benefit? Okay, of- I mean, if I said yes and called your bluff, I'm sure you'd present one. <laughs> I've prepared my whole life for this argument and this argument only. So, yeah, he, he steals that necklace by catapulting off his, his uh, suit and yeah. then escaping naked and... Somehow, miraculously yeah. ending up back in a tuxedo. Yeah, with yeah. his girl and driving away. Uh, and then, yeah, his his girl gets caught by the syndicate. Well, no, we're mi- we're mi- skipping over the the scene where his girl's swimming underneath the lair, and then she no, no, cu- no, no, that's that's way later. That's way later no, because it's not. no, it's no, 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 because oh, yeah, he has to is, shoot. Is, is. He, he sh- has to shoot those emeralds yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, because that's one of the best things ever in this whole thing. <laughs> is diabolic gets cornered by the police and the main syndicate's main boss. Yeah. And he ha- only has a limited amount of bullets, so he fires all 11 emeralds into the bad dude, kills himself under air quotes. They both get into the morgue, and <laughs> he, he awakes and then steals the emeralds back. Yeah. Because they've been cremated because they were inside the dude. And which also kind of like... Best ruse ever. Well... Here's my issue with that is that they were like, Dude, oh, that was here, crystal here, clear, that here. plan. That was a shining example. No, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, sh- shut up. <laughs> Let that. Sh- shut up. <laughs> Daddy Jack has to talk. <laughs> Some sense into you. <laughs> they gave the coroner's report for the crime syndicate boss and, like, no, here's the coroner's report. No mention of 11 emeralds were shot into his body. <laughs> like, that would not be the most noticeable thing ever. And it's like, how did he die? Holes. Yeah. Fucking slamming back into the drawer. All right, <laughs> let's go get some fucking jalapeno poppers. It's Friday. Yo also, no. if, if the x-ray him, the emeralds don't look like bull, uh, bullets at all, too. No, They're but they still very... look like something. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They still yeah, look yeah. like 11 no, fucking no. great big rocks. <laughs> That have been gone into this dude's body with extreme force. Yeah. <laughs> also, that was brilliant. A brilliant plan by Diabolic. Uh, definitely. And it worked out perfectly because the script said so. And uh, then turns into the, the third. Yeah. Well, first off, so yeah. So he gets... And we think, like, get, at that he, point, we think it's over. He gets the dead dude emeralds. Yeah. And then he just sticks them on his wet girlfriend. Uh-huh. Who's not all like, you just pulled these out of a dead man. Yeah, there's none, there's none of that. Yeah. Yeah. She's just like, oh, it's so sexy. And he's there just sticking them to her tits. And then they fall in a, a lake together or whatever the fuck it is. And those emeralds it's, are just gone. Yeah. <laughs> there was no necklace. They were just like with the power of spit stuck to her chest. I honestly after seeing them bang in those 10 million dollars in that rotating bed which again fucking dope as hell yeah, it's, like it's a ball of as moves. furniture pieces goes this is one thing i would like to own i don't have the space for it my apartment even if i tore down like those walls wouldn't be enough to house that thing in yeah. there but it is fucking dope and he has sex on 10 million dollars on that thing yeah. like it, it he knows how to live. I think he's like a very much like a, ra- a current rapper in that swagger thing. Yeah. Whereas like, yeah, money, bitches. Well, bitch in this. Well, compatriots uh, in this. No, I say she's a bit of a bitch. Really? Because like, did you she, see she, her licking her lips when he was melting that gold down? Yeah. That's just like, oh, you gold digger. Oh, that's not a bitch. A bitch is not a gold digger. It's that's a, a gold digger. That's a literal gold digger yeah, in this a, case. It's a bitchy attitude. Yes. To have. Okay. Fair enough. Yes. 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 But also, I mean, honestly, if you together with the apparently most brilliant man of Italy, why wouldn't you be like? Where's where do you go from there? Except for why like excess. Why do you need to be a sociopath and go anywhere? You just stole ten million dollars. I mean, it's go just honestly, spend the rest of your life fucking on that in your <laughs> unbelievable, <laughs> awesome cave. Also, why do you ten ever million have to dollars rob some in ne- poor old woman's emerald necklace. Dude, which is like her she was. Dude, it's she, only because she was British doesn't make her poor and old. No, I'm She's, not saying poor as in not wealthy. I'm saying poor like old and defenseless. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Soon to die. I mean, like she fainted when her necklace wasn't there. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> oh yeah, right. I totally that's forgot like about the physical it. condition yeah. she's in. And then isn't that just a British thing to faint? No. Uh, I think uh, like 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 uh, old British ladies they they faint a lot. 
it's just like vitamin D f insufficiency for like 70 years just makes your whole system work not that well. Yeah, that, that's exactly how it happens. <laughs> Nailed it. Also, she's in Italy. She gets all the vitamin D she can get. No, they had that sex scene over the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the you radio. Were, you were making the vitamin D joke. Yeah, as in, yeah. As in dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As in she gets some vitamin dick. Yeah. yeah, and she calls them toy soldiers, which was pretty brilliant. He's a cunt, she's a cunt, you're a cunt. That's me. everyone. Yeah, she's the... I wouldn't. I wouldn't if I were you. Oh, you look so damn proud of yourself as well. Look at you biting your bottom lip. Like your fucking Wallace. She's the Countess of Fevery. All right. Um. Uh, <coughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Heat stroke episode going strong. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's. We're gonna s skip cinematography and sound because uh, we talked already about yeah, the cinematography, yeah. basically, and the sound. I don't know. Music nearly constantly. I notice. Yeah. Yeah. And also just four or five tracks over yeah. and over and over well, I mean, again. That, that doesn't loops. bother me so much. It's a theme, I guess. Like, yeah, but it, they they didn't. There are no variations on the theme, which normal movies have. Well, yeah, but also when you watch a James Bond movie, how much of it is just spent going ba da ba da ba da da Fair enough, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like, true. That's true. That's all if, over. If, it felt cheaper with this movie, I'll, uh, I'll admit. But yeah. It's, yeah, I'll forgive It them. also doesn't have a James Bond yeah. budget, you know, that but movie. But it was, it was just like music constantly for like ages. <laughs> I think the 10 million in that movie were more than the budget of that movie. Of course. <laughs> Course, but it, wasn't, it also wasn't real money. Yeah. <laughs> no, those banknotes weren't real. You're, you're shattering my mind right now. Oh, and also, their use of upbeat music in scenes where the heist is going on was yeah. hilarious at some times because, like, it was two seconds before he kills a dude. It's like. Slice. <laughs> Good God, this apartment's so hot. Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, I, I, yeah, I did my job well. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's not an attractive property. Um, I'm going to throw this book in <laughs> With none of the notes that you've took. I took notes. You took notes? What, took where, notes. Where, where, where are those notes? Let's find it. Let's find it. Let's find those notes. All right. It's the note. Oh, also, because it doesn't seem like I'm not the only one who doesn't take notes. Because it's best moment. Best moment? Oh, that is definitely the, the first uh, dramatic zoom in on uh, Diabotic eyes. Yeah? Yeah. I'm you love that? that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I've got I've got plot. Uh, you got stuff, yeah. Oh, that's not this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's your handwriting, but a different episode. Yeah, I was I was like, I, no, fuck <laughs> you. I got notes. Plot. Who misses a dog? Right? What? <laughs> no dogs in this movie. And then so I got no cats either. Like, I'm just gonna go except with, for that I'm nice pussy we see I, all the time. I, I, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my notes for what I assume was a Commissar Rex episode. Whereas <laughs> who misses a dog? Who believes a dog acting? And uh, under cinematography, under least episode. bloody kill shot ever. Terrible phone sketch. Sound, no comment. Best moment, no comment. It was a Commissar Rex episode. Yes. Um, <laughs> where? There we uh, go. Yeah, yeah, so fuck you. I've got notes. Yeah. I've got uh, music insane. Best <laughs> moment, diabolic reveal. Okay. I, um, I, it's the thing is, when you put a subtitled movie on it, it's hard for me to take notes because every time I want to write something down, and oh, they yeah, say something, I got to look back up. Right, right, right. It, right, it, right. Is, it is genuinely like logistically quite difficult. Yeah, I mean that's 88, 81 episodes of training, I guess, for yeah. you. For me, the best moment was honestly where not only Diabolic was ridiculous, but also. All of the other people were ridiculous when they introduced that plane. Oh, yeah. With a trap door in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's a bullet hole in the plane, and yeah, the dude and like, just sticks like, chewing <laughs> gum or something like that. It's in. just cement. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he has just some cement in his mouth. And then he's got like a Mr. Burns style trap yes, door in yes, the bottom of his yes. plane. And it's amazing. It's so funny. That was one of my favorite moments. It was just so ridiculous. And it also alleviate that all oh we are in a serious universe no we are not we are not in a serious universe where just one person is ridiculous yeah. no 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 everybody is ridiculous because again okay the, the only ridiculous thing about the like the state side oh shit we didn't even talk about the fucking uh bank exploding oh yeah we yeah. had a fucking moment of fucking <laughs> diabolic it goes full communist yeah. and just explode some random building not random actually very yeah, targeted like 
tax offices and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he yeah. just basically fight clubs it. Yeah. And, and it's just... And the finance minister is like, please pay the taxes that you're owed because we lost all the records. We just believe that you will do. Yeah. Like Mr. Towley, basically. Mr. Hanky or Towley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Just mixed up two fabrics there. Um, Mr. Hanky's made a shit. Yeah, that's... Oh, because I hang it, chief. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you're not happy about that. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, he full fat cups it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not the end of the movie. No, no. Not, <laughs> yeah, the most dramatic thing that happens and they're just like, oh, and he uh, basically destroyed capitalism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah and, the, and, the, and the government is like, oh, what do we have left? Gold reserves. Let's melt all our gold ingots into a 10 ton gold ingot. It was so ridiculous <laughs> but yeah the exploding banks was also one of the best moments in which is also whole. like they put it in an unbreakable sealed container yeah that even he wasn't able to get into properly yeah just so by why, slicing why, holes in it the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, laser yeah exactly pistol but that, their, yeah. Their, their logic was well it, if we melt it all down into one 20 ton bar he can't steal it you put it in something he couldn't steal anyway yeah you just like <laughs> That's right. There was yeah, there, right. like, why did you go? And no one's like, wait, hold on a second. But if he can't break into that, it, hypothetically, <laughs> let's say he had a laser that he could melt yeah. uh, the gold with and get it out that way. Let's just say hypothetically yeah, he yeah, had yeah. that. Also, then then he, why it doesn't the make any difference. The laser is also not necessary. What he needs is a diamond uh, studded drill bit, which are really easy to get, even in 1968. Drill a hole through the steel then just heat up the whole container because gold melting point is way lower than steel melting yeah, point. Yeah, but you still, like, you need something to heat the whole thing then. Yeah, but a normal torch burner will do. Uh, Ten of those. That's a slow It's process. a slow burn? Yeah, it's a uh, slow burn, no, yeah. No, it's not a slow yeah. burn. <laughs> yeah, he pisses that out too. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then he's just like, once, it, once he's melted down his gold that he's stolen inexplicably with a submarine... <laughs> Oh, a submarine cabrio, yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> so he's he's just taking this molten gold and spraying it into like these like ingot molds. Yeah, but there's just gold going everywhere. He's being so yeah. flippant with that. <laughs> well, she's str- flicking her. That's what I call a golden shower. <laughs> Boom, done it. Uh, full transformation of yeah. Jack into me. It has been completed. Yeah, I think I think those are the best moments. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, let's move on to the uh, secret category, which is Diabolic 2018. What would be different? Nothing. <laughs> same old, same old. You think so? Um, because yeah, honestly, because I can't picture him doing cyber crime because it's just not as really. He goofy. was really tech savvy. No, not not that like. He wouldn't be capable of doing it. It was more. It doesn't seem like his flair. Oh, like stealing cryptocurrency or something yeah, yeah, stupid exactly. like that. Which okay. I feel like that's what the Diabolic of 2018 would do, but I don't feel like. Oh, that would be a shitty remake. Yeah. Yes, yes. But a true remake would be just have Do- Diabolic in a better costume, better special effects, keep the girl, keep Eva Kant. It's it's. Maybe uh, she'd be old now. She'd be the woman who's fucking having the emerald stolen. Maybe somewhere. maybe it's the son, the son of Diabolic. Or the grandson of Diabolic, I guess, 50 years later. Mm. Yeah, the grandson of Diabolic. He's 25. You know, you have Grandpa Diabolic still being rusy, but not up (laughs) to the task anymore. And Grandson Diabolic takes over the job because uh, Son Diabolic was rebelling against his father, which was like being just a straight-laced dude. And his son, Grandson Diabolic, is rebelling against his father by doing the grandfather thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's... See? All plotted out there. Sure. Diabolic remake in the making. I, I like the idea. <laughs> I like that Diabolic would come back. I think he would be like a, uh, you're, you're, like a you're white being panther. You're genuinely serious right now as well. It's like that's how you... St- what? If, if they would make a remake, that would be like, like a Donkey Kong scenario. Yeah. But that's like... <laughs> yes. Why would there all of a sudden be that much plot? <laughs> Why would there be that much story just out of no, nowhere? No, 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 Just have them there. Have you just seen have the, the remake of the Karate Kid where they went into Mr. Miyagi's background? No, no. Who the fuck cares? Yeah, or the solo no story one, where yeah. nobody cares. Yeah, 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 or just like any of those, like the Freddy or the 
Jason remakes. No one gives a shit. Okay, no so one just fucking just a straight fuck up, up reboot. Some teenagers, yeah. Just have but, current age. Yeah, diabolic. you wouldn't you wouldn't have like some subplot where like the dad is trying to reconnect with the son, but he's the son's gone after the granddad. <laughs> but the, dad, the dad knows neither of them are evil, <laughs> and it's. We now have the proof that I could write a really shitty diabolic like, and, and, reboot. And they like, at what point are we gonna throw cars off the cliff? All oh, right, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That should be in the diabolic remake for sure. Also, a catapult for some reason. Okay. Final conclusion. It was all right. Yeah, I liked it. It was, it was, it was a fun time. It was aware of itself. It, yeah, it was very much aware of itself. There was. With those there was nearly a rape scene, but there wasn't a rape yeah, scene. So and, and the perpetrator got what he deserved by getting his neck twisted two seconds into his attempt, which was a very nice change of pace compared to the yeah, previous that, that movies really we watched. Yeah, kept up the fucking cigarette burn torture scene. She needed to be in peril. No, she didn't. Well, she didn't need to have cigarettes put out on her. Fair enough, yes. I think she never got touched, by the way. Like it, even was, it was implied enough. Yeah, yes, it was implied enough. And Diabolic got his ass kicking revenge. Yes, yes. It was a good time, even yeah. now. Like, it doesn't truly slow down until the last bit where they have if a shoved in third if, heist. If you're looking for a fun movie that is absolutely just plotless, yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, Go it's, with it. it is honestly. You could uh, watch that in three parts, weeks yeah, apart, and yeah. it would not make a difference. Yeah, a blockbuster movie. From 50 years ago, basically. Was that a blockbuster movie? No, but okay. it has all the makings of it. Really silly, stupid plot. Excessive violence and, yeah. and destruction. And just a very dumb premise with a fun character. Yeah. yeah. Go check it out, actually. This is a recommend from Jack and me. Weird. I think this is the first time where we both like totally agree on something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, also the first movie you haven't shown me that isn't weird Austrian rape torture, so it's... You know, everybody can change. That is the lesson of today's episode. Oh, Jack, plugs, right. I've Where can people... Plug? <laughs> you don't have a tour in like a few months? Oh, yeah. This is coming out like in two weeks, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll be on tour. Go to facebook.com forward slash Jack Holmes Acoustic and look up my events. I'll most likely not be coming to a town near you. See you then, Josephine, bus. my next Vienna show is on September 7th. Yeah, check it out. And hi, Jack's mom. <laughs> Bye. No, I'm not sharing this. My mom <laughs> my Why? It's, it's a perfectly fine episode. Oh, my God. I've just, We're both melting. Oh, We're both. I don't, don't want to look what I've done to your couch. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 my oh God, Jesus, you attacked it.